I am going to refer to the tautological reasoning that I raised at the beginning. As we do not have data then we do not build the model, and we don't build the model because we don't have data. As I said at the beginning, the data is simply not in a formal risk register. They are found in the minds of highly experienced people at your institution, subject matter experts, who are perfectly capable of generating, at least as a starting point, the parameters that allow us to begin to define certain probability distributions. Obviously, this must be done with care and quality. But the powerful and robust Bayesian probability theory gives us license and tools robust enough to start with these assumptions, and as we build better databases over time, we replace our previous evaluations with better and more robust distributions. We can use, for example, to rate the severity of an individual event a PERT distribution. This is a distribution of the beta general family of distributions that admits three parameters to be displayed. A minimum value, a most probable value or mode, and a maximum value. Simply, if there are no initial data to define the mean and standard deviation of a distribution, for example, log normal, call on an expert who will provide you according to their good judgment these three parametric points that define such a distribution. Imagine that we have defined a risk that, according to the expert, could happen, on average, 10 times a year. Enter this value in cell C12. Assume that it has indicated that, if any of these events occurred, the minimum impact or severity would be $1,000, in cell C15, most likely it would be $3,000, in cell C16, but that it could well reach impact up to a maximum of $10,000, in cell C17. With these elements, it is then easy to build a convolutional distribution as follows in cell C18 equals dt convolute, dt poisson, c12, dt pert, c15, c16, c17. Now, define the cell as an output variable with the name risk according to expert, and proceed to define it. We now simulate a limited number of iterations, in 1000, defined in parameters, simply to proceed to demonstrate what we have just done and proceed to simulate. At the end of the simulation, with our cursor over cell C18, we click on histogram to view and analyze this newly defined and simulated risk. Many national financial supervision entities admit this type of approach, during the periods of construction of more robust databases. The Basel Committee makes a forecast in this regard. It is a temporary solution that grows stronger as we get more historical data. Obviously, this topic on empirical distributions can be expanded a lot. We only mention it in an introductory way. There are many particular methodologies to gradually improve the quality in the construction of this type of distribution, admitting the existence of cognitive biases that usually tarnish the correct categorization of the expert's evaluations. For now, we only introduce it to defend the point that it is possible to carry out this type of quantitative modeling, even if robust historical databases are not counted as a starting point.